I'm your host, Bonnie Noel, and this is Beauty Tutorials Unveiled. We are coming live from the Babe Cave. If this is your first time tuning in, this show is an opportunity for you to get a chance to break down all your favorite tutorials and get uh, special tips directly from the pros. So make sure to jump into our live chat and ask questions as we go along. We have a super special episode for you today, and it is our Christmas special. And not only is it our Christmas special, but it is our season finale. And we are super excited. It's been a great season. I love this season so much because it was during the holiday season. So we got an opportunity to do a bunch of different themed episodes. We got to do a Halloween episode. Now we have our Christmas special, which is great because we love a good theme and be able to tie everything all together. So today we have a great guest. Uh, her name is Mandy. She is from Bellissimo Studio and she will be here showing us how to turn yourself into the Grinch this holiday season. So Mandy, thank you so much for joining us. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. I've been looking forward to it all week. <laughs> yes, we are super happy to have you. And I'm so glad that we got to do it because I know that we had talked about doing stuff for Halloween, but I was Absolutely. super busy and we couldn't get our schedules together. So thank you again for reaching out to me to come on for the Christmas episode. And it was the season finale. So I'm even more excited to be here now. <laughs> right. We're going out so, with a bang for sure. Yes. <laughs> but yes, you were booked and busy Halloween season. I remember asking you and of course you were right because yeah. you do what you do. So yeah, let the people know um, where you're from and what you're into and all that great stuff. Yeah, perfect. So I'm actually born and raised in Western Massachusetts. So I actually live in West Springfield. Um, I've lived in the 413 area my whole life. I've worked in the beauty field here for a little over 10 years. Um, started out at Sephora. Um, I'm a licensed cosmetologist, but I don't do hair. Um, <laughs> I started out at Sephora in beauty education there, went to Ulta where I started working at the Benefit Brow Bar actually worked there for over five years, but now I have my own beauty studio in um, Feeding Hills, which is Bellissimo's, which you mentioned before. Mm -hmm. um, and there we actually specialize in um, brow waxing, brow tinting, uh, brow lamination, and more lashes like lash extension, lash lifts, um, lash tints, and then event makeup. So I myself specialize in also special effects makeup. So that's kind of how you found me was through that. Yes. And that's why I'm here today. So again, I'm really excited to be here with you guys. Absolutely. We're super excited to have you. We yeah, totally. So for the people who don't know, let us know, like, what's the difference between special effects makeup and regular makeup? So special effects makeup can actually range from using just body or face paints to create a character or a different look or for creating more, um, you know, like latex or prosthetic looks. That would be stuff that's more used in like movies and stuff like that. Um, I do have training through the Stan Winston program through that, which you can do online. Anybody can actually go and do that. Um, you can sign up online and take monthly courses. But it, most of my stuff is all just like self-taught from like doing it throughout the years. Um, and basically with special effects makeup, you're creating a entirely either different character or different look. If you're getting into the more like prosthetic stuff or gory stuff, like I said, um, you might be creating wounds or kind of like stuff like that. But if anyone's ever watched like Face Off or... Um, what was the uh, what was the body painting one? Why can't I think of what it's called right now? <laughs> I'm drawing a total blank, but they had those shows on. So those would be more special effects makeup versus like a glam, natural or like beauty makeup. It's just kind of like amplified. And instead of just enhancing your natural look, you're actually turning yourself into a completely different person or character. Right, which is so cool. So fun. That is great. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about what, like, what inspired your interest of that. Did that come from just kind of like seeing different movies? So, um, yes, definitely movies. Big time horror movie fan. So I actually do a podcast called That Strange Show, which is, um, we are an award-winning podcast. 
um, not safe for work, but we, we cover horror movies. Um, we do like banter and stuff. And then we just cover like basically one movie, um, in a week of, you know, or like everything we've been watching for that week. So through my love of horror, I also started to create the Halloween makeup. So like zombie makeup and stuff like that. And I would do it for my friends and I would do it at Sephora and the other places I would work. And everyone would say, you're really good at this. Like you should get into it more. So I started noticing that there were a lot of tutorials on that stuff on YouTube. And that was like, I feel like you see it everywhere now, but this was like, I'm talking like 10 years ago when a lot of people weren't like doing it. So yeah. I kind of like was really interested in it then and was only doing it more during like Halloween. Mm -hmm. But then as I started to get more into Instagram, um, I want to say I started getting heavily into doing these looks probably around 2017. Um, so I've been doing it for about 10 years, but I didn't start doing it like seriously and all the time until, until then. So I haven't even been doing it that long, honestly, but just practicing every day. And then you just kind of start to fall in love with it and see, like, you kind of want to like see what more you can do. So you really like push yourself to try different things. And I know we're going to show some more stuff later on, um, of like progress picks and stuff like that. So um, it's just like about having fun with it and pushing yourself and trying to just like break those boundaries in beauty, which I love because we see, you know, we see this stuff on Instagram every day, but I feel like I don't see a lot of it like advertised where people do it locally in certain areas. Like I know of a few people that do, yeah. but not a lot of people do. So I feel yes. like it's a fun way to get creative, you know, and I think a lot more people are interested in it, but they don't know like a lot about it or how to get into it. And it's literally just like, even if you're not a makeup artist or you're self-taught, like literally just research YouTube, you know, and like just doing it. And like, you have to suck at the beginning. And that's like this, the part about it. That's like hard because yeah. then you want to give up, right? Like you're like, Oh, this but you just have to like keep doing it and you just get better. So, I mean, basically just the inspiration is the horror uh, movies, makeup industry, and me just wanting to like push myself. And it kind of all came together to this now. And it's like, now I do, well, with my schedule now, I do one look a week. I was able to do more before, but that's, I feel like pretty decent for my schedule. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Because these type of looks take time. They do. They can take anywhere from, you know, two hours for kind of more simple one up to four hours, four and a half hours. And that's including, you know, like taking the time to shoot the video and set up and, you know, editing everything afterwards. So all together, sometimes it can take up to six hours, depending on what you're doing. But I don't do like a full, like the most I'll do is like my face and then like my chest area. I've done full on other people, but I don't have the patience to do it. I don't have the patience or time to do that on myself. That's actually one goal I have for the new year coming up is to push myself to do bigger pieces on myself. Yes, absolutely. Super cool. Um, what's the, um, what's the blue, what's the blue one? Is it, is it marble? Um, Sally. No, the blue, the blue, um, oh. like an idea to do like a full body. The blue, what's she from Marvel? What's her name? She's like, oh, Mystique. Right Mystique. Yeah, Mystique. Mystique. Yes. I love Mystique. I yes. Love and that's, Mystique that's like a sexy one too. Like, yeah, I feel it like it's gorgeous. And like, mm -hmm. that one's a good one. Yeah, I mean, really I don't know if I have the body for that, but I might maybe I could do that on somebody else. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure you do. And if I'll you, you know, if you're if you're worried or scared, I I, I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> yes, anytime, anytime. <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah, let's jump right into the Grinch. That's why we're here. We love the Grinch. It's Christmas season. The Grinch is someone who is super misunderstood. And those who don't know, like Dr. Seuss is someone who actually is from Springfield, Massachusetts. So 413 native. We love that. So it's great to be able to, you know, feature his work on this show because Dr. Seuss is known around the world. So that is awesome. And, you know, now here we have the Grinch and you did an amazing job. I called it the Grinch Thank with you. a twist because you could see that, you know, it just like had a bit of you in there. If you, It's like mm -hmm. people get a chance to go look at your work. So I love that you were able to add your own special touch to this look. So yeah, 
let's talk about you know what inspired you to do the Grinch look and sure. kind of just get right into like you know how you yeah. got it done. Oh, absolutely. Thank you for noticing that I add my own little personal Dutch. I do kind of sometimes leave myself in there and I'm like, yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but then it's like people will recognize if it's my work because they'll that's see that it's me kind of. So, but mm -hmm. with this one, um, actually what it was, was I had done a Grinch look previously. Um, and it's more of like a zombie Grinch kind of, I do a lot of pop art makeup and a lot of zombie yeah. looks. And mm -hmm. I always try to add that element into it. So I want to think like the one thing I thought of when I did this one originally was that line in the original Grinch song where it's you have termites in your smile. And mm -hmm. I wanted to, I didn't do termites in my smile, but yeah. I thought of just like how a Grinch would look kind of as a monster or a zombie. And then you think he has that really wide smile when he grins in the cartoon. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I kind of took those elements with my style and wanted to add that into my own Grinch look because like you said, Grinch is an iconic character, again, from our, you know, our neck of the woods here, from our area, 413, so we have to represent, but um, sure. <laughs> absolutely, I think everybody can relate to the Grinch <laughs> a little bit as well, so um, yeah, so that's what kind of inspired me to do this one, and again, like I kind of wanted to go back to the one that I did before and kind of recreate it to see um, my progress again, like to see how far I've come. And with this one, it was more like, basically, I wanted to do, you know, um, smoother, like a smoother look with, you know, not as heavy lines and more shadowing. So I think I was really able to to do that with this look and my lighting is better now and my <laughs> setup and equipment is better. But um there's a lot of differences. Like I have contacts in this one where the previous one, I wasn't wearing contacts yet in my looks. So that was, that's part of the like growing journey with it as well as like figuring out the new things that kind of work with it. So, um, and then basically as far as like the looks itself, do you want me to kind of like talk about how I start them off and everything? Sure. Yeah. Let's jump right yeah, into those, perfect. those steps. Yeah. So I do, um, usually sometimes I'll have a look planned for a long time or sometimes it'll just kind of pop up but like I said I wanted to redo this Grinch one so I usually start by um, my images of either you know a makeup I've done or maybe not other people's makeups but just pictures of the Grinch you know and yeah. then maybe a picture of a zombie or a picture of something else that I kind of want to add together and I make kind of like an inspo board on my computer mm -hmm. and I do like a little kind of um setup of that and then I'll have that out and I'll use, get all my products I need because the worst thing to do is to not have all your products right out because you're going to be like scrambling for all this stuff and yeah. everything's going to go crazy and especially if you're trying to film because then like you you can tell you're like not you're all over the place so yeah. it just makes the work get done quicker you know in any work environment like cleanliness and organization is key because we are always doing better with that so like with any makeup look I will prep my skin just like you would if you're doing a beauty makeup look so the same idea you want to you know cleanse your skin moisturize add a primer mm -hmm. I sometimes tend to do a moisturizer and primer in one just because I'm going to have so much stuff on my skin like it kind of just adds that barrier and gives me the moisture but I'm not layering like so much stuff on my face um and it's Face paint is a little bit different than regular foundation because it is water-based body paint. So you do have to use water um, to activate the product. So sometimes it's almost like you're putting a primer on and this wet product's almost like wiping it away anyway. So I try not to put like too much layers on there. <laughs> so um, then I'll start off kind of with my general outline of what I'm doing. And with that, I'll either do like a, just like a pencil like a regular like pencil um, liner, usually in white because black is hard. Unless I know I'm doing a lot of dark colors, white's better because then you can kind of paint around it and blend. So oh. I'll use my, yeah, I'll use my face paints. Um, what I normally use is the Mehron palette. So it's this one here. This one actually has um, 30 colors in it. Um, I'm not going to open it because it's a mess. <laughs> like I'm a beast and savage like it's crazy looking in there but this is like what it would look like sorry I know my ring light's really bright I don't know if you can see that but that's how many colors come in there and then you can actually get 
That one's a little more on the expensive side, but you can actually get the smaller one, which has eight pans in it, which is this size. Okay. Um, and that's, that's just my favorite body paint. I also use the Graftobian as well. Um, but the Mehron is just, it's really easy to use. It blends nicely. It's not like streaky or anything like that. So um, for this one, I used the light green and I basically had traced out some of the areas on my skin where I wanted it. I painted with the light green around because I knew that was going to be the color I was going to use the most. Mm -hmm. And then you could just go back and add the details. So I kind of just painted all around with that. Um, and then I went back and I did my mouth area, which I had already mapped out. And I start with a white and I use the white face paint with a small brush. I just use a paintbrush if I'm doing a small detail, but if I'm using uh, regular brushes, I'll use just like regular makeup brushes. I usually use Moda brushes. Um, you can get them at Walmart. They're actually really great. Um, I have a discount code for them. I can give you guys if you want, <laughs> you know, just throw that out there, but it, it's, um, it's, it's Mandy MUA. M-A-N-D-I-E-M-U-A, yeah. And you save, I think it's 20% off. Huh? I said a Channel 7 exclusive. Man, yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, you can save if you use that code, but they're they're really great. And they're inexpensive, which is good, because especially since I use them so much. Mm -hmm. I tend to buy, like, expensive, like, face paint products and then, like, sometimes cheaper, like, other things, like, that I'm going to go through, like, crazy, um, just if I'm using on myself. So um, after I did the teeth, um, I would go back and um, add the detail areas. So once everything's pretty much done, you're going to go back and add detail. I use um, like basically a black liner to do that. And in my tutorial, it feels so bad because always the mirrors in my face because I can't see very well. <laughs> um, I have horrible vision. So um I always have my mirror up close. So I'm like, oh, I feel like people can't see what I'm doing, but they, they get the idea. Um, so I definitely go in after and do all the details with a black liner um, and or the black face paint, which is great to use as well. But since the liner is such a like precision it, and I feel like it holds longer, I tend to use that as well. Um, and then you'll go back at the end, add your final detail touches with your shadow brushes and with your eyeshadows. You can literally use any eyeshadow, like, cause you're just shading and you're adding the detail and the depth yeah. to the look at the end. And then whatever eye look you wanna do as well. Um, I again use Mehron. I use their, um, these are their intense color pigments. They're really bright and they stand up, um, stand out really nicely on the, um, the, the body paints, but honestly, any pigmented color palettes like will work fine. Morphe, like if you get like the big ones, those yeah. are great. Yeah. Like anything like that, you know, you don't always have to spend a ton of money. I mean, if you want yeah. to, that's totally fine, but you can just kind of use whatever for the, for that. Um, like I said, the one thing I would say though, is definitely get a good body paint. Um, so then once I've done all my shading and my shadowing, um, I usually go on with my lashes. Um, that's usually like, I know I'm at the end of my look when I add my lashes on. <laughs> like lashes and wig are my last two things. Um, so, and then again, like I use all different kinds. Um, this is a brand, I don't know if you can see it, it's called Hellbites Beauty. I use a lot of their lashes um, and also inexpensive. I don't know if you guys know about the Dollar Tree lashes the Ioni Cosmetics. <laughs> Let me put you onto these real quick if you don't, <laughs> because they are legit. The hype is real. I saw so many beauty people online talking about these um, wow. for um, at the dollar store. And I was like, yeah. okay, let me go check them out. And right. I went and got them and they're so good. Oh they, so good but you tree. can't, you can't find them because every the secret's out now. So everybody, I like buy like half of the rack because I go through so many when I'm doing them. So like when I'm doing my clients, I'm usually using like Kiss or Ardell or something like that. But like I will pop these dollar store ones on all day, but I'm actually using those in the Grinch look. So that's why I wanted to bring it up. It was right. actually the dollar store lashes and they're good. They're cruelty free foam ink like they're they're the real deal like the hype is is real so really <laughs> and 
Um, so then at the end, like I said, lashes and wig, um, my wig cap in my video has seen better days. Um, <laughs> but then you'll kind of just go and add your wig for the final touch. This is just like a cheap one I got on Amazon. Um, but I also, um, there's a few online, like there's the powder room ones or part, and there's a few other ones that I really love. Um, but again, you know, you don't have to spend a ton of money to achieve these looks. Um, what's that saying? It's, it's not the, the brush, it's the artist. It's not the product, it's the artist. You can kind of make true. these, yeah, you can make these things happen um, with what you have. Um, I wouldn't suggest um, like Halloween store wigs because they're really shiny. Um, but other than that, I mean, <laughs> So the end of my looks always um, are my wig, lash, and then I take my pictures and do my little videos for TikTok or for Instagram Reels. I don't always film myself doing the makeup, so um, I was glad that I did for this one so that we could do this. Um, it, sometimes I just don't have time. I wish I could. Yeah. Like I see these girls that have all these and all these reels, and I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, let me get on your level. Like you are amazing. Like, but you yeah, know what? We do. We can. It yeah. is a lot of work. Yeah, it like it's not just the you know two to four hours you're doing of the makeup. It's also you're taking your photos, you're doing your videos, your TikToks. Which making TikToks, I don't. I'm like terrible at it, and I try. I'm so like in. Instagram, I got this. TikTok, I do it and I'm like, oh my God, I'm like, my poor like family is hearing me like record the same sound 65 times. Like if they hear the same thing <laughs> over and over. Oh, it's yeah. just like, and then you're like, I'm done. That's it. I'm just going to use whatever I have. <laughs> Absolutely. Hopefully TikTok is like the last thing. I'm sorry to all the innovators and the app yeah. creators, but we're, we're, we're done. You know, we're, we're tired. <laughs> yeah. We're, tired. we're still trying to do all the ones that exist already. Like, give us all a chance to. I know. You know. <laughs> it's hard to keep up. It is. It really is. But it's fun either way. Absolutely. So how long would you say this look took itself, this um, Grinch look? The Grinch one wasn't that bad. That one was only about two hours. Okay, nice. Um, two hours to do, two and a half, start to finish with, you know, set up and then photos and everything. So, like I said, if it's not as much of a detailed one, so that one was very detailed in the face, but kind of like from the neck down, I didn't do too much. Like some of my other looks have more detailed look in that area. So those are the ones that will take a little bit longer. Right, it makes sense. Yeah. So I know that you also did the uh, the look, the Sally look, the yes. Nightmare Before Christmas night, and we have pictures of that. Super cool. Another iconic character. We love, I just love when that comes out. It's so funny, like, it's kind of spooky, so it's like a Halloween and Christmas movie at the same time. Yes. I definitely, I definitely feel like to watch it for Christmas. I guess I, you know, sometimes I'm like, I'm more into horror than I thought I was, because I still like all that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a classic to me, for sure. I used to love when oh, yeah. come on. So, yeah. Um. What inspired that look? So again, like you said, it's a classic. I mean, I grew up with that movie when I was younger. I actually went to Disney when I was younger and was able to see like the sets um, yeah. where they actually like had, you know, the real sets that were used on the movie, like yeah. little stop animation and everything. And I was oh like, God, did, you go in, in, did you go to, you went to Disneyland in California? I went to Disney World and I went when it <laughs> I'm gonna age myself here. I went when they were still MGM <laughs> was when I saw this. Um it was like in the 90s, like when the movie came out. <laughs> and I saw I was I was a child though. I was a child. <laughs> yeah, 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 um, I yeah. saw it. I'm like, I was a child in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> um, but no, I, I, they had it out then. And that when I was a kid, I, the first time I saw that, I was like, oh my God, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen before. Because it's so yeah. like quirky and strange. And like, that, I, like, it's just, I related so much. So, but I mean, I think like you said, classic iconic character you can like spot her um she I think there's a lot of things you can do with Sally that are fun 
Um, I mean, of course, you're going to make her look her classic way, but also like you can change her up a bit. Like I made her a little bit more of a Christmas theme for the holidays. Yeah. And then I did the Halloween kind of version of her. Like you said, it's a Halloween and a Christmas movie, yeah. which I love. Absolutely. So I did one for Halloween and then one for Christmas. So, I mean, Sally's just a fun character. I don't know why, but I like to be painted green or blue more than any other colors. <laughs> so that was up there for me as well. But I mean, like I said, uh, it's just I've always been drawn to Tim Burton and Nightmare Before Christmas. And uh, like you said, it's a classic character. So easily recognizable and something that I think like everybody knows what it is. And oh, most people love Nightmare Before Christmas. So absolutely. It was a good choice. <laughs> it, was. it was a great choice. I Thank love that. you. I love that look so I much. You nailed, you nailed it perfectly, both of them. I'm like, I oh my goodness. I'm always, like, I always want to do looks like that, but I, I wouldn't try it myself. It's just like, there, there's a beauty in, like, getting something done for you as somebody who does it really well. Like, I don't want to be. I know, agree. I am going to go somewhere, so. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely touch this Halloween season. I think I want to take it, take it up a notch. I, I will try, be here. Try the face and body paint. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So someone like me, future clients, I want to book with you. Where can they find you? Would they call the salon? Can they reach out so to you? So as of right now, um, you can just find us on Facebook or Instagram. And on Facebook and Instagram, there's a link that you can use to book with us. Uh, Bellissimo Beauty Studio is for both Facebook and Instagram. Um, and you can also message us. Um, and there's two of us. Um, so, you know, the message will go to both of us and then whoever it is will reach out to you accordingly, but you can also just go on and book by yourself. So the links will be right on those pages and it will bring you to our website booking app. Awesome. Makes it quick Super and easy. Exciting. Yeah. It's Absolutely. really easy. Definitely. Super exciting. Do you have anything cool planned for the new year? Any, any looks? Any you know, um, right now I might take a small break, like, you know, kind of like a little, a little vacation, a little holiday vacation. Um, so I do have, um, some stuff planned. I wanted to try to get one more Christmas look done. I wanted to try to do another Jack to go with my Sally. I don't know if I'm going to have, to. <laughs> maybe, but, um, I don't have anything other than that planned in the near future, but you can always expect something from me. <laughs> um, usually I, I post a new look uh, weekly. So um, the next thing I should have will be either right before Christmas or it will be in the first week of January, depending on how crazy my work schedule gets. Yeah, for sure. But I well, always have stuff coming. Absolutely. I need to make sure to follow you on Instagram. Let the people know where to follow you on Instagram. I know I have you on Facebook. Yeah. I'd love to definitely follow you on Instagram to keep up with everything. That's more my speed. I'm more of an Instagram gal. So I'll me definitely make sure to follow you. It's my so, yeah. favorite app. <laughs> so <laughs> on there, yeah, I'm Mandy.strangefx on there. So that's M A N D I E uh, S T R A N G E dot F X. Awesome. Well, thank you again so much for joining us. As I always say, time flies when we're having fun. It's our season finale, so I definitely want to do a little cheers. Thank you again. Thank it you for having me. Time. Absolutely. We had so much fun. I'd keep you here all night if I could, but. I would love that too. I'll be back. I'll be <laughs> back for sure. Absolutely. For sure. But thank you again. And thank you thank to everyone you. who tuned in. Thank you to everyone who's been tuning in this season. It's been a great time. And make sure to stay tuned for our next season and thank you again happy wind down wednesday thanks again mandy <laughs> thank you
Welcome to What's the Word. It is the season finale of season two of What's the Word. And this is the first time that I have my two best friends with me. So welcome. And we in the holiday spirit, that's our, our favorite season. So, you know, it's it's our favorite time of the year. So, you know, we had to do a Legos holiday special. Yeah. I, that's what I was calling the episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's a legal holiday special so we are on episode eight we, we kicking the we, we end of the year on a positive high note we all got great things going on so we want to, so we want to have some fun today we're going to celebrate we got a lot to celebrate we had a good year as a collective we had a good year and but there's a lot of fucked up shit going on in the world so you kind of just got to like push through it and still celebrate so that's what you know what i mean we pop champagne like it's a campaign so we gonna um, kick the show off with a spelling bee to get it going, and um, yeah, I'm already as you can see, I'm like two, two, two. I'm two or three in. I I don't, I don't know where y'all at with it. What y'all drinking? Cause I got this nice Christmas mimosa with cranberry juice, champagne, and some some floating cranberries for the aesthetic. I'm drinking Pinot Grigio. I'm over here with a cute little glass of, you know what I mean? It's so what? red. <laughs> what is your red? It's Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. Oh, see, you know, I can't go that dark. You know? Yep. So y'all ready for the first word? I ain't spelled since. Oh, girl. <laughs> yeah, please. Please. <laughs> Separate? S E P E R A S E P A R A T. Wait, Leo, you got it after you just said you ain't spelled? You know, sometimes things just come to me. I gave you a head start. S E P S E P A R A T E. Okay. Okay. I think I said I didn't even get, get to go about it. But I thought there was it. So, what's the next word, Leah? You could go first since you won the last round. <laughs> Bone or build? B U V U L N E R A B I L T Y. There you go. And <laughs> got an I at the end. I'm like, there you go. N-E-R-A-B-I-T-Y. Mm-hmm. Liddy, you forgot the Liddy at the end. How you gonna forget uh, that? <laughs> <laughs> that just sent me for a doozy. Yeah, you forgot the Liddy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I through your teeth, born with the teeth. Like you're really mad, like you're really pissed off. You say you did through your teeth. Let's <laughs> <laughs> <It's> tight. <laughs> Cemetery. <clears throat> Go ahead, Lonnie. <laughs> um, cemetery. <laughs> I'm really at the spelling bee. Yes. <laughs> oh, alright, fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so hard to spell out loud? Like that's this is crazy. <laughs> I, I have no, I have nothing. <laughs> I have you nothing. Get that word off with C E M E P E R Y cemetery. That's cemetery. Oh, <laughs> got it right. Got it right. I thought you had said S at first. No, I did. And then I said, hold on, no. And you know what? Because you're thinking of big cemetery, you just traumatized. Probably you saw that as a kid. I'm sorry? You saw Pet Cemetery as a kid? No, nope, but I lived across from one. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's, no, that's you sure did. Spell, spell you sure did. I sure did. For all of your days. For real. Like, <laughs> so, wait. Fine. That was three words. Fine. Oh, the last one. Yep, one more. Lightning. Take away. Take it away, Kate. L I G N I N G. 
L I G H T N I N G. And it's me. Cause I don't you know what? That's not it. <laughs> yeah, because it, it's not like it's not lightning. It's lightning. Lightning. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta take that E out. Lightning. Speed of lightning. So, guys, now we're about to get to my favorite part of this. Instead of doing a traditional what's the word setup today, we're going to go right into a brand new classic game called Naughty vs. Nice. I just created this game today. <laughs> so, but you know what? I want y'all to play it because. You gotta get in a, a hot brand new class game around here. We might have to play this again on um Christmas Eve. So we'll you guys face time, y'all. So okay, so here's the um concept of the game. I forgot, I should probably tell y'all that. So the concept of the game is you have I have 12 naughty questions and 12 nice questions. We're gonna go around and answer the questions, yes or no, and then whoever had we're gonna see who's more towards the nice list or more towards the naughty list. Now, if we both have points in both, like if you have 12 naughty and 12 nice, like if you did everything on the list, there's a bonus question to figure out which side of the spectrum you go on. Ooh. Depending on your answer, it's going to be a nice or a naughty. So you Are guys you ready? keeping tallies? Yeah, I'm keeping, I'm keeping score. I have a paper and a pen. I have a special custom K. Hickson pen. If you got the Four Seasons Journal uh package last year then you have this pen. I have this I have that pen. <laughs> I got my pen. Y'all better have y'all's. Alright, new pen right, coming soon. <laughs> yep. Are y'all ready? First of all, let's take a we're gonna take a sip before we get started. Everybody take a sip. Bonnie, yours looks pink. Your your wine is pink. No, I think it's the light reflecting from the neon light. <laughs> All right, come on. I still, I like the aesthetic. I like the aesthetic. All right, so you guys want to do naughty or nice first? Which we, which one do you want to kick it off with? You already right, know. Let's kick it off. Ah! You want naughty? naughty. naughty. Quick, right to it, huh? All right. Is... Oh, my bad. I said already. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <laughs> that was okay. Anyway. So, question number one. Oh, I forgot to say, it's just in this year. It's not ever. It's just in this year. So, it's just, if you're in the Naughty vs. Nice list this year. Wow. What a year. What a year. This year, okay, maybe, you know what, because I don't really know, have a concept of time, so like, maybe like the last two years, because you know, like, nah, all, nah, all nah. kinds of things. That was you said. You said this year. That's, this year will do. About to say, I might have to fuck around and lie, depending on what you ask. I might have to right. lie this year. You do a lot. Relax. 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 Yes. So what's, what's we also naughty. We all did it. We all did it. Lie, lie, lie. So what's, you just say yeah. That's the, that's the response. All right. So for nice, paid for the car behind you at the drive-through. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I don't think I've ever done that. Yeah. I haven't. I think it's. That's I think right. it's a very great gesture, but I've never it's done. A wonderful it. Feeling. Not yet. It's happened to me like three times, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna pay it forward. And you know why? Because um if you remember it will come back to you. <laughs> when um our church was doing like the you know little kindness things around the holidays and it was like and I passed like the car. It was it was cute. It was a little special. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. You better pass the, the card of, of trying to get people down to the church. <laughs> All right, for the naughty <laughs> list, have you ever taken a pregnancy test? Absolutely. No. Just praying to God. And God is good. <laughs> <laughs> God is good. <laughs> All the time. Okay, because I am kidless. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise him. 
Praise him. All right. Have you ever volunteered your time for a good cause? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm about Absolutely. tired. Absolutely. I, I, if what the, if one yes. thing I can volunteer and donate, it's my time. Yes. For, for sure. Cause. You know what's so crazy is I put I put nice down for Leah and she didn't even answer yet. But I, I just think yeah. <laughs> like no. yeah. He said yeah. Sure. All for right. Sure. So for naughty list, <laughs> I'm about having sex with someone. Have you ever lied about having sex with someone? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> And, I'll do and I'm a lie again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lie. Um, have there's, if, if there's one thing I'm gonna do, y'all know where I go. Y'all know my body. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> all my niggas fucking and all my niggas lying about fucking. Leah, <laughs> go to hell. For sure. All right. Have y'all ever donated clothing or toys? Absolutely. Yes. Yep. Definitely have. Shout out to Tika Jones and Who's Celebrals did the toy drive recently. Yep. Actually, yes, Ma. South Bay Community Center Thursday at four thirty. That's where you can pick up your 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 toys. Nice. Look at that. Make sure y'all check that out. This is kind of an awkward segue to go into this next naughty question. <laughs> so I just shouted out to the book. Yes. <laughs> it's all very mixy. It's all like, it's, it's, it's just, just take it away. Have you ever had sex with a person whose name you didn't know? I'm gonna go with no, you know? I'm gonna I don't go with think no so. too. I'm gonna be honest, I might not have known their full name, but I knew like their nickname or they, you know what I'm saying, their initials. <laughs> right, like I, I, well, that's a, that's, I, call, that's, I called yeah. you something. Yes. I called you something. I knew sure something. I something. something. All right. Yeah. Well, my, so I, I, I ain't checking off. I ain't checking off. It's not so It's not so bad. Huh? I said it just sounds bad when we say it out loud, but so people want such a fake answer. <laughs> All right. Have you ever helped a drunk friend or a stranger get home safe? Yes. Unfortunately. Me too. I helped a stranger. I helped a stranger get home. I helped her find her phone. I went to this random party that she left her phone at. I got her phone. I got her into her. She, she went to like Westfield State. She like stumbled on my friend's back door party. Like we were like in the backyard in Westfield. And she stumbles back there. She's drunk. Everybody thinks she's crazy. I'm like, I'm going to get this girl home safe. Anything could happen to her. I got her into her dorm and everything. I feel like just for that alone, the gates are going to open for me. Yeah, that's I've done. <laughs> <laughs> that's what did it. That, that's you you that gets you your pass. You your pass is set in stone because of that. I'm weak. She said the gate, <laughs> not the gate. Yo. We, so we all even, but Lonnie is a little bit more on the nice side than us. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I could have said that from the beginning. We like nice. I am a child of God. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> here I am. I'm just like. Yeah, here I am. Here I am. Just like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you should have just wore devil ears to the to the Christmas special. <laughs> nah, I, you're the grand. Because I'm Where's a your, pet? Where's yeah. your pet? over here. I'm over here, mean, all green, looking real grouchy. Like, <laughs> you're a mean. Boy. I'm just ready for you to pop up, like Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> Not Oscar. No. All right. Have you ever fooled around with someone outside in nature? Yes. Yes. It's all good. Hey, I think we got a little spontaneous fun. I can't recall the time, but like. I had to have. <laughs> I had to have done it. We all like a little spontaneous fun. A little ass in the grass, if you know what I mean. You know? Have you ever done something nice for the elderly? Yes. Absolutely. I love, Absolutely. I love old people. They are my favorite people. I, I dedicated my life to the cause for the past two years. Um, 
Have you ever skinny dipped? Yes. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Yes. So like, who, I, have, I haven't skinny dipped. I never skinny dipped. I oh, you need to. It's a good time. Yeah, it sounds like it. I need to be like on an island somewhere though. Yeah, and get faded yeah, and then just saying. my first my first weekend here I'm in LA, trying, right? Wanna I'm, get, up. I'm not trying to float away. I'm I'm here. Here. Yo, my first weekend here in LA, right? I went to Love Fest and I was where like Estelle ended up performing all this shit. It's a literally a beach for the people and me and G and Anna got naked as fuck and our boy Quasi recorded it and got in the ocean at like midnight. Cold as hell. <laughs> And skinny dipped in the ocean, my first. That was like my initiation, to LA. Are you a really swimmer? Uh, you didn't go that deep. No, um, I'm gonna I'm keep it a buck. I got a clip. When the wave, when you know the, the tide get high, <laughs> that shit hit me and I fell. That bitch took me out and I jumped up. And in the video, all you hear is me saying, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> and I like ran back not to shore. Like, fuck that. Like, I, I tap out. I tap out. Next thing you know, you taste the salt know, water. Next thing you know, I'm floating in the ocean somewhere. Naked. Nah, I'm good. At that. Good. Then naked. gotta find me and I'm butt naked. Like, come on, man. Coochie out. Like, no. Just, Sounds mm. pretty out. Have you ever babysat for someone? Absolutely. Yes. I don't know why that's on the list, but you know what? It just, it came in my heart as being something. <laughs> it came as my heart. <laughs> It's, it's very nice. It's very nice because you don't. Nobody got to do that. You don't. You don't never have to babysit. You know, because you, they ain't mine. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever got arrested? Yes. <laughs> no. Thank God. Fifth eleven times. Wait, no. Five times, Leah. <laughs> I'm talking how many times? Not fifth eleven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. I never, I never got booked, but I've been arrested. So that's the crime mob. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> gave been there for a weekend. Gift. Absolutely. Gave a heartfelt gift. A yeah, heartfelt of course. Gift. Absolutely. Every every year. <laughs> well, that's why. See, that's why I, I wanted to, at first wanted to do it just this year. You know what I'm saying? But then, but fuck it. Cause maybe, maybe I ain't give no heartfelt gift this year. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I had. I ain't been gifting nobody nothing this year. <laughs> no, That's sir. not true. I'm trying to think. This year, you gave me a heartfelt gift for my birthday. You I did. I felt like that's true. You gave me a nice card and you gave me money, and I think that was heartfelt because it came from a place of love. Oh, I thought you know? the Jones thing I did. I'm yeah, sorry. and I'm like, for my birthday, oh, yeah, that I was, came home. And that, come on, don't get don't me started with that. <laughs> <laughs> on my birthday, I came home and all y'all pulled up. That was heartfelt as shit. Oh, yeah. That was enough for me. Okay, because yeah. one thing about me, one thing about me, I'm going to be the gift. Okay, <laughs> my, my friend's presence is a present, okay? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm going to be the gift. Just pulling up, <laughs> wrapped all nice. <laughs> okay, oh, Christmas gift. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm uneven. <laughs> All I heard was I'm, I'm wrapped up tight. Is that what you just said? <laughs> wrapped up nice. <laughs> <laughs> A little holiday too. Or wrapped up tight, you know. Who would, who would make her a mummy? Like, no. Right, she did not. She did up tight. Wrapped up tight. Barely, barely, barely wrapped. Barely. Nah, so I had noticed that I asked more naughty questions than nice questions, so I gotta get caught up. So I gotta ask another nice question again. Please. Have you ever supported a friend's new business venture? Of course. Of course, every time. Every time. As you are we are we friends? If I don't like, what? No, we're not. I don't know. I'm looking at you a little funny. <laughs> I'm looking right, at you a little like, funny if you don't support me. No fuck. Have you ever not been able to remember how you got somewhere? Of course. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Every time I'm drunk, I can't see Maybe or think. So. Unfortunately. Yes. Every time. I'm with you two. Every time I get with y'all two. Pretty much. 
Pretty much. Although, I do remember getting home. No, I don't. I was in a passenger seat. I was asleep. I don't remember. I, 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 I don't even remember how I got home two days ago, to be honest. You know, it's an honest hour. Absolutely not. And then, and, then, and then woke up texting me. I'm like, can you what? Like, stop. Because I just tried to pick you up two minutes ago. And now you're whole time. I'm like, yeah, I'm home. I don't even step you know, up eating. And I'm just I, like, I, I've I seen that ever, text and bro. I was so confused. Because <laughs> every time I see texts from y'all and it's 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. here, I'm like, why are they still awake? Like, <laughs> it's 6 a.m. What the fuck? I'm y'all up still. If it's two, three here, it is five, six there. Why are y'all awake? No. What are y'all doing? Let's, let's talk about two days ago, though. Like, please. We went Nutcases. to Katie's book party. Release. That book got released. That book got blessed released. Book release brunch. <laughs> we went to Katie's book release brunch. And they didn't make it home till about, it was given very much 1 a.m. when I walked through the door. And it's just like, what? <laughs> Mind you, I got the brunch at 1230. I was going to say, this was a whole 12 hour release. A 12 hour. Mm-hmm. It was a long release. But it was great because at 12 a.m., Amazon really did put the book out. So it was like we wrote it out with the, Perfect. you know what I'm saying? They finally put the book out. They was a week late, but we was live. What a way, what a way for, for the book to get released. We was live, literally. There you go. All right, this is this was on the nice list, but then I'm like, dang, this is like a crazy thing to have on a nice list. I don't know what would make me right, but it is really a nice gesture. Have you ever physically fought someone for someone else? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> Anytime I ever probably fought, it was probably for someone else, and that's why yeah. I realized I didn't change my ways. I started people because you have to have- leave my friends alone. <laughs> <laughs> year because she thought that one of the boys was trying to follow me in the bathroom. It was the crazy And I was in a and I was in a long ass skirt. <laughs> a skirt. It had shorts under it. Looking crazy. It was and the skirt ready to box it out. In a skirt. That's crazy. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> in the middle of the city at, at the Empire Hotel. Was it a kilt? <laughs> No, it was like this long floral skirt. She had on a long floral skirt. Oh god, like I could have wore it to church. Like that. (laughs) It was a crazy. It was a crazy skirt. Collected the offering in it. (laughs) I would have definitely been (laughs) passing around the wine. Like the communion, given very much first of the month. I'm crying for sure. I'm so insane. I wasn't there, but I know that I I, I changed my life once I started stopped this kind of like closely associating with the people I had to continue to fight for. It's like you know what these ain't I'm not I'm not fighting anymore anyone else's battle. This, no, this is I get, I'm done. I get I give up. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Have y'all ever fooled around in the car and honked the horn by accident? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so funny. I don't know. I, don't, I can't recall. <laughs> I'm big. I'm big. No. I hate doing car shit. Like, I'm too big. I, I'm, I'm big. almost six feet. Yeah. <coughs> I'm big. I'm, this a bi- oh, hey, this a big body Benz. I'm almost six feet, honey. Get me out the car. <laughs> but okay, well, that's put right. me indoors. That's my long legs. <laughs> and, and I just like I'm so fucking goofy like I'd be like falling over and shit I'd be click click hitting the thing that fell into the seat. yeah and don't have me drunk I'm gonna definitely bang something like, uh huh <laughs> be ri- ricocheting around the car <clears throat> have you ever made someone cry from your kind words yes I think I have too my- well cause it's because my mom my mom cries at everything like, I'm a I'm a I'm a lover boy, so I'm gonna say some sweet shit that's gonna get you to to say you love me. Happy holidays from, from the lover girls. Legos the lover girls, because we sure are. I like this hoodie. You ain't in black. What's going on? Uh, I, I felt this 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, you got so, a yes. Sincere sin, just walked into his home. Oh. Hi, Sam. <laughs> I don't know what I thought she was doing. I don't know what I thought you was doing. But anyway, have y'all um, ran out on a bill before? I'm going to always run out on a bill if I can. No, I'm just kidding. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't done it in a while. I haven't done it in a yeah, while. Yeah, I, I haven't done it since a kid. So it's like, I don't know. Do I count yeah. it? It's I, like, it. I feel I I'm too old young. to do it. I was young, I'm too old to do it now, but honestly, I like catching a little thrill. Like maybe we should just do a little something crazy one day, just cause. I just feel like I, I just feel like I, I'm going to pay for somebody to get arrested for something like that at this big age. That's what I would be scared of. Yeah, like. I don't. Why Sin, Sin just said he just did that shit last week. <laughs> <laughs> Trying where at? If it had been worth it, like if I'm gonna do it at this big age, oh, best believe I'm ordering. No, I'm ordering. Uh, we about I to. I'm, I'm gonna right, have I'm all my all my LA quit. friends. We about to go to Nobu and run some shit up and dip. <laughs> bye. Yeah, I better hope y'all get away. Like, I want to be able to go back. Yeah, to right. Nobu, you know what I mean? Like, right. I definitely want to go back. I'm just yeah. On second thought. But the way I'm switching up, I'll go back and be real different. Like, who is running off on the bill? <laughs> Maybe not. It was not. Maybe not. I, I, I thought that that dude I was with paid. I'm so sorry. He did not tell. <laughs> I, I thought know. he was putting it on his tab. I don't know. My bad. Here y'all go. I had the money. I just thought I was putting on a joke. I thought there was a cord in. Like, it was supposed to be funny. My bad. Take the money. Yeah, pretty much. All right, have y'all gave out money with no expectation of getting it back? No. Yeah, no. honestly, either. But you know what? At the end of the day, I, I haven't gotten so much money back that I just feel like I need to be on the nice list because I, I haven't, I haven't committed murder or nothing. I haven't done nobody. I haven't, I haven't got my lick back. I'm a, I'm a firm believer in, like, I don't know, it's just, it just has showed up very closely in my life that if you don't give the fucking money away if you, if you need it back immediately. Yeah. You know? But then, you know, there are, it's case by case, because sometimes niggas just really be just getting over. Like, niggas mm -hmm. be abusing, you but know? But I think I've given people money with no expectation to give. I have. Maybe, maybe, you know, I definitely have. Like, there's people who just, they needed it in that moment, and I gave it to them, and I, it wasn't even about paying me back. Like, I need, you, you needed a little Wait, the something. question was, the question was, have you given out money without expecting it back, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 I have. I have. <laughs> Here I am all late, like, whatever, girl. <laughs> money, like, I mean, having, getting it back would be nice, but shit. Okay. Have you ever lied about your birthday? No. I never loved my birthday. No. I've I lied have... about my birthday at like maybe, you know, I didn't, but I feel like people have done it at like restaurants or something because they think it's funny and we get free cake or something. But like. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've been like, oh, it's my birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, like, nah. I, I, I love <laughs> the 727, baby. Them joys <laughs> All right, last question. Have you ever been a supportive friend to another friend going through it? And yes. All the time. All the I'm time. like I'm like the three of us is here for a reason, ain't we? Shit. All the time. Jeez. That's all we do. Well then that like Jeez. was another like was another like Friday night. Okay. Trying to be there, trying to be there for each other while we going through it. Like, please. Oh my God! Just this past Friday night, right? Yeah, that's the worst. Friday night was a fucking. I'm glad we got through that. Yeah, we got through that. That was a doozy. Oof, that was a doozy. <laughs> so, all right, so we're all tied for nice, but we're all different with naughty. And I'm wondering if I should use the bonus question, and then whoever didn't do this goes on the nice list and gets the more nice. I think so. Let's do that. Okay. So this is a very naughty question, but whoever didn't do it gets to add a point to the nice list. And none of us are going to be able to. Ah! Okay. 
So, it, have you ever used toys during sex? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, I won the game. Thank you guys very much for coming to work. <laughs> I'm calling your bluff. <laughs> I am calling your bluff. I'm calling your bluff too. Bluff. Listen, the guys I I dealt with. Don't get me started because I'm gonna call it spade a spade. Every guy I dealt with was just far too insecure. I feel like perhaps I bring out okay, not all of them, but most of them. Oh, so you no, you're saying you really have it? Yeah, I'm not lying. They I'm don't like using about. toys during sex. Boo. And I and I, and I haven't felt like. I haven't felt like I've I've had to at this at this time, but you know things things change. And after hearing <clears throat> Leo's, Leo's experience, <laughs> 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 you know, uh, I might be open to it when I'm married because at this rate, that's the the next time I'm having sex because the dating pool got pee in it. It do listen. Honey, and that toy, them toys during sex, honey. I'm just saying, you're gonna be strung. He, he gonna be strung out. He gonna. Is he? No, somebody oh, will be. Probably not. I was strung out. I don't know about him being strung out. Oh, God. I, no, the, men not, gonna be strung out. the men aren't gonna be strung out. And honestly, I don't care anymore if the men are strung out. In 2022, we are putting ourselves first. We don't care. At 2022, um, honestly, bring in the toys just so you can have a good, uh, a good time, and we just gonna slut niggas out. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> okay. And we gonna do okay. what? If there's, okay. if there's one you thing we're gonna know, do, we gonna slut you, you out. The, do you want to know the result of the game? Please. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so for the nice list, Lonnie got 12. Me and Aaliyah, me and me and Aaliyah got. 11. So we ain't that far behind you, but you got, you a little nicer than us. So then on the naughty list, <laughs> 10, me with 8, and Lonnie with 6. And that makes sense. That makes, makes sense. sense. It makes me a little farther behind, a little further ahead. You know what I mean? In the nice area. But, you know, <laughs> who counts things? Who's doing the ratio? Who's doing the fractions? Or whatever. I, mean, I guess I really should have wore some some little horns, huh? I guess I really should have brought some horns. About the pitchfork. You're the naughtiest. I'm not too, but like, I like how we're not too far. I like how we're equally, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's 10. We're equally nice. And, and what a nice. We're equally naughty in our own ways. No, we were equally nice. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were a little nicer than us. But we, no, we were equally nice. We were all very nice. We, you guys were 11 and I was 12, right? That's that's good. That's the spirit of Christmas. You, We were all 11, but then because, because of the bonus, you... You kicked it up a notch over us. Yeah, so I'm glad that we're all equally nice. Mm -hmm. We're nice girls. What do you mean? We're nice girls. Yeah. I, you know, I, I'll never forget somebody said I bullied some girl or something, and I was so appalled. I'm, I'm telling you, that was the worst lie I ever heard about myself because I ain't never been no bully ever in my life. I have never bullied nobody. I, I don't do that. <laughs> You got to seriously bother me for me to turn around and bully you or or meet you back where you at. I'm just going to meet you where you at. I ain't going to start with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to meet you where you at. If you start bothering me, you're damn right. You're damn right. Because I love a good roast and I love a good joke. Okay, we're going to definitely drag it, too. We're going to drag, drag it, it on the hub. You better off not coming over here. And chew your ass out. Drag okay. it on the hill. So... <laughs> Before we wrap it up tonight, are you guys first of all? We let's are we looking forward to 2022? Oh, for yeah. sure. Because we we oh, we, we and then we not only are we ending with a holiday special and we going into the holiday season, but we starting a new year, we taking a break, we gathering ourselves, like we we realigning our goals and our visions for 2022 is big things popping, little things stopping. So what's y'all like main, what's like one word you want to describe 2022? One word. Selfishness. Oh my God. How do you want to win the naughty versus nice game and be the nicer person and then say you're going to go into 2022 with selfishness? Because <clears throat> I feel like I've been too like selfless 
And I think mm-hmm. this year is the year for me to really pour into myself. Like, I feel like I deserve that. I put in my, I put in the work to be like a people person. And obviously when people still need me, they can need me. But where will you find me? Focusing on myself this year. Me, busy minding my business. You know what I mean? Like I will be focusing on myself and as we all should, as we all do, but just a little more this year. Because I have like I have ongoing goals. I don't have any new goals. My goals remain the same. They kind of roll over sometimes. This year, I can say they're doing that. It happens. We're in a pandemic. I got the same amazing goals, you know. The, 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 and I feel like this year they'll work out by being just by putting yourself first. And selfish being selfish isn't negative. I feel like there's a ne- negative connotation behind being mm. selfish. You know what I mean? And I had to learn that from just being like, you know. Just being a people person, being a yes man, being a people pleaser. You have to realize, like, okay, if everyone else deserves that energy from you, like, why wouldn't you deserve, like, that same energy to yourself? That's true. Selfish people do, like, have been abundant. Self and you the ish. Self and you the ish. That's really what it means. It's, you don't got to be negative. You got to break down the words. Right. That's what we do. We, we redefine words <laughs> around here. Yep, 2022, we defined the dictionary. <laughs> say that shit. I would say, for me, my one word would just be elevation. Uh, mm-hmm. I had my first year in L.A., and it's been going good. I can't complain. It's been a great year, but I feel like I have a lot of things with, like, me and my homies out here that are, like, pouring into 2022. I think 2022 is going to be a very, like, good year for me, like, overall, in, like, multiple areas. And like me and my like friends and shit. So absolutely. Oh, I don't know. Okay, well, I, <laughs> I feel like I want my word to be fruition. Like I want all my hard works to, to come into fruition and all my patience and all my diligence and all my effort. I want to fruition. So like I've been, like, reminiscing on, like, not even the last year, like, the last two, three years, like, even the year before COVID, you know what I mean, 2019, I'm like, dang, I'm still trying to do X, this certain thing, I'm still trying to do this, I'm still trying to do that, like, I'm, I'm ready to do the things, ready to do the things, I'm ready for them to come to fruition, Absolutely. that's my, we love a good fruit, we love a good fruit, we love a good fruit, first fruits, first fruits of the year. The gang trying to eat. That's about it. We just trying to eat. You know what I'm saying? So thank you guys for coming on today. I can't believe it's my first mm-hmm. time having that's so crazy. Right. Like, I don't know. We might have to make this like an every season thing. Just get on here and okay. talk our shit. This might be how you gotta, we got to end every season. Just on the right note. Just a nice, nice, positive, freaky dinky <laughs> Just positive and, and freaky. That sounds about right. That's our group that message sounds about on right. a daily that basis. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's our group message on a daily, like a weekly basis. For pretty, sure. yeah, pretty much every every day. Yeah, we don't miss a day. We don't miss a day. We yeah. ain't miss a day in years. We just be talking our shit. <laughs> every every little thing. I just got to, well, hold on. Hold on. I got to tell, I got to tell legal chat. I got to tell legal chat first. I got to tell them. Before I text my mom, sadly thing but thank you guys for coming on i'm excited for a holiday season y'all excited for a holiday season it's gonna be fun y'all uh, y'all better facetime me too because i know y'all gonna be going crazy and i'm not gonna be able to be home so facetime me please absolutely tune me in. Tune, I gotta facetime you and tune you into everything i can't please. wait to be on text I hope all my viewers and everybody watching has a great Christmas, great holiday season. Thank you guys for tuning in for the season two of What's the Word? More wine, less business. And I will see y'all soon for season three. But I'm going to need a little break in a little bit. But So I'll see y'all next year. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Cheers.